Parts, we'll come in. Parts, 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 parts. So I can keep on working on this thing. Okay, hey everybody. So, I saved you all from the boring stuff, like undoing the front end and wiring. And so now, we're here. Hey, we have a mostly stripped bike, and it's time to start putting stuff on it and fixing stuff up. I, today, I think we're delinking and refreshing the brake system, and if I get time, we'll do the front end as well. But first, I got mirrors. There we go. It's starting to look like a bike. Alright, mirrors on a bike makes it more like a bike. Anyway, okay, so I've already done a bit of work on this uh, so I could get all the parts. I had to walk into stores and whatnot. But uh, basically, with this bike, what we have is our rear brake, which is attached via a hose that I've already disconnected, to our rear splitter here. Okay, which is also linked back up and around. There's this little pipe uh, that runs up and through to this, which then runs around and down over to this brake. It's called a linked braking system. It's great when your bike's 900 pounds before the advent of ABS. It would stop the bike, slow it down, give you more grip, blah, blah, blah. I don't want that. What I'm looking for is front brake and rear brake. So what we're gonna do so we're gonna attach this here, this, which is my front master cylinder, to both the left front and the right front. Now there is also this little thing right here, which is actually attached via this to the brake, as you can see. That's the anti-dive system right there. This, with a 900 pound bike, makes these forks not compress so much during braking. Well, it doesn't help too much, they explode, as you can see. Focus. There we go. It's all gross and icky. It's all gross and icky. I've also got progressive springs. So I'm gonna be able to replace these springs that are in here with a much nicer spring, which will make everything work better. So I won't really be needing this anti-dive anymore. As you can see, there's one on each side. So we're gonna be playing some banjo games here. There used to be a dual piece in there. There's now a single. I've taken that and I moved this up here and blah, blah, blah. But basically what it boils down to is I bought a second front brake hose and I'm gonna go ahead and run both hoses down to the front. Since they're the same length, I shouldn't have much of a problem with that. So that should delink the brakes. We'll get into the rear when we get to the rear, and I have to dremel some bolts to fit to plug those anti-dives. And, uh, as you can see, there's an exploded rear master cylinder, which I have another one in one of those. I, I don't know which one it is, but it's in one of those. And basically what we're going to do is replace that as well while we're at it. So let's start tearing this stuff apart. Wait a second. It has a banjo bolt on it. Why? I guess it's a bleeder. 
Sometime? I think it's the wrong one. Yeah. I don't think that's supposed to have that hole in it. It's not supposed to be banjo bolt. Oh well, we'll sort that in a bit. First, let's get this new one at least in there. Look at all this paint coming off. Blech. All right, now I have cheated a little bit. Ooh, zoom out. Blah. Okay, so I've cheated a little bit. Ooh. I've already taken this rear brake line off, so pretend that that was connected there, and this was connected back here. Okay, right, to that, right there. So, ta-da! I took it off, aren't I amazing? Now, I only bought one new brake line. So we're gonna have to do, if I've got my thought process right here, is we'll take this brake line and we'll use this line in the back. We may have a lot of extra line, we'll have to figure that out. But I think we can do something with that. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so I needed a couple more inches. This one seems to have about seven more inches, eight more inches, but it should work. We just gotta make sure that it's all underneath the cylinder level. So, we gotta run it to this one in the back, or this one in the front, excuse me. Running it to this one in the front, because this one gives us 80% of the braking, and that one gives you 30. So this one's restricted, that one's not. We wanna run it from the front, so we're gonna run it like through and around somehow, I'm not really sure, we'll figure it out, and then back over to the brake here. Okay, so what we have at this point is a single brake that runs back and around to the front half. Now we're gonna need to block that, okay? Remember that. That hole needs to be plugged, don't forget. Remind me. Since we've got that left front already undone, and we got the double banjo up here already, because I was lazy and wanted to do it while I was figuring everything out, I'm gonna go ahead and patch that and on this side. All right. I'm gonna have to figure out a bolt situation for that uh, rear master, but there's our front master with the dual front brakes and the rear with the rear. So it's getting dark. Um, there's a bit more I want to do here tonight or tomorrow, but camera's no good. Uh, so maybe we'll get back on it tomorrow here. The next morning. 
Okay, and we're back. Um, so yeah, at this point we're gonna cut some bolts, plug up some holes, and get a brake system running. Alright, now that I got those bolts cut, I'm gonna start filling and bleeding the brakes. And it's not very, not a very hard procedure for anybody who hasn't done it. Uh, there are these little nipples on all your brakes. Right here. Oh, here you go. See a little nipple? Nipple, nipple, nipple. I think I'm pointing at it. There we go. Okay. Nipple. Uh, excuse me. And what you're gonna do is we're gonna press the pedal, twist this open, let brake fluid and air come out, and then close it, and then release the pedal. And it's just a back and forth and back and forth and back and forth until it's all coming out clear with no air bubbles in it. And I gotta do that for the back and the two fronts. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so completely dry brakes are not working the way I want them to. We got nothing coming out of there. So I figured a solution. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna zip tie this closed, or open, excuse me, brakes on, right? And then just to get fluid in, I have this completely open. Okay, it's off. Let me create some suction. Now I have to be careful and watch to make sure I don't get any food. But look what it does. So yeah, it might take a bit. Just a little bit time. Got a mighty vac. Now I won't be spitting brake fluid out. Let's go deal with this.
that took so long I got a haircut. But yeah, we finally can stop the bike. It now has front brakes. And it has rear brake. So the bike now has brakes. And this has taken so freaking long, I think we're gonna do the front forks in a separate video here. So that's pretty much all I got for you today. So if you like what I'm doing, go ahead and leave me a like down below. And if you wanna see my videos as they come out, go ahead and click that subscribe button over here somewhere. That'll help me out a lot too. But that's all I got for today. So I'll see all you guys and gals on the flip side.